Hello friends, welcome to a new episode of Strat India. South Korea's first homegrown KF-21 fighter jet successfully completed its inaugural test flight Tuesday afternoon at the base of South Korea's Air Force 3rd training wing in the city of Sakyon. The jet flew for 33 minutes and landed at 4.15 p.m. Major An Joon Hyun of South Korea's Air Force piloted the KF-21 prototype No. 1 featuring the national flags of South Korea and Indonesia. The maiden flight was aimed at examining KF-21's basic flight performance such as takeoff and landing. It was also intended to examine the jet's structural integrity before kicking off the thousands of test flights to follow. The prototype of the KF-21 fighter jet was equipped with full-scale mock-ups of 4 meteors, which are beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, and an infrared search and track system. The KF-21 flew at a speed of around 400 km per hour. Ground tests including low, medium and high-speed taxi testing and engine ignition testing took place before the first flight. A taxi test examines the operability and structural soundness of 4.5-generation indigenous fighter. Co-organized by the South Korean Defense Acquisition Program Administration, the demonstration represented steady progress in South Korea's US$7.9 billion United States dollars program launched in 2015 to replace the Republic of Korea Air Force's aging fleet of F-4 and F-5 jets with the new warplane. The Kai KF-21 Borome is a South Korean 4.5-generation fighter aircraft development program, with Indonesian involvement, with the goal of producing an advanced multirole fighter for the South Korean and Indonesian Air Forces. The airframe is stealthier than any fourth-generation fighters. The program is led by the South Korean government, which holds 60% of the program's shares. Indonesia took a 20% stake in the program in 2010, and the remaining 20% are held by private partners including the manufacturer KAI. The KF-21 employs various high-end technologies, including the active electronically scanned array radar that tracks multiple targets with more advanced and efficient components. It also has an infrared search and track system that, that detects low-flying targets that emit infrared radiation, including anti-ship missiles. The 4.5-generation fighter will be equipped with air-to-air -air missiles such as the AIM-2000 by Germany-based deal in the Meteor. With KAI's KF-21 take to the skies for the first times, India is eagerly waiting for the first glimpse of its homegrown fifth-generation fighter Amka coming out of the HAL hangar for the first time. Feel free to share your views on comments box. If you liked this video, please share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more of these videos. With this I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends.